It's beautiful. Really quickly, before we get into the main topic of this video, I just want to say to you guys, thank you for showing a lot of love on the previous video about Abbey Road. Kind of makes sense why I have a Beatles t-shirt on. Look at that. The Let It Be cover. But no, thank you guys for showing uh, a lot of love on that video. The amount of views it has now, uh, all the love in the comments, it's, it's, it, 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 it's great. It's, it's amazing. But without further ado, someone remade Super Mario 64. Uh, this title immediately intrigues me, so I'm not going to waste your time. Let's just jump into this and see how good this remake is. I can tell you right now, it's going to be way better than Mario 3D All-Stars. Oops! We've gone 20 years without Nintendo remaking their most iconic and influential 3D Mario game. So I guess I've got to do it myself. I want to show you what it would look like today. And to do this, we've got to ask ourselves, what would Nintendo do? Before we just throw <laughs> Mario into some Unreal Engine demo or make him look like this, we have to consider what Nintendo would actually do. You see, Nintendo good, loves good, to give good option. a unique style, rather than look hyper-realistic. For example, good call. <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild had an awesome cel-shaded style, where it almost looked yeah. like everything was painted, and Super Mario Wonder had a cartoon style with really emotive Go watch my Mario Wonder review! <laughs> we can't just give Mario 64 a different style. If you look at their previous remakes, they've tried their best to make it still look and feel like the original, but with a fresh coat of paint. Nintendo, does, the the, what, it, of Nintendo remakes are, are a whole different entity, man. Mask HD on the 3DS. They keep the same lighting, UI, and animations of the original games, while updating the textures and models of everything. Or if we want something newer, we can look at Metroid Prime HD. That game quadrupled the resolution, added better lighting, and replaced all the 3D models with newer versions. This is what we need to do. All right. I wonder where we should start. Thankfully, we don't have to imagine what Mario would look like nowadays. Did you know he's had a few games recently? Mario's character <laughs> model has largely been kept the same ever since Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. But there are some tweaks that we can make, because this doesn't feel like Mario 64. Well. This does though. What I think would work best <laughs> is the latest design of Mario, but with his original, saturated colors. And this way, it keeps the retro look while still being modernized. Interesting. That was the easy part. We've got a player. But I want to do something even better. You see, ever since the game launched in 96, people wondered, Where's the green guy? In fact, there's a statue <laughs> in a fountain in the original Ella's game real. with a secret message that reads, L is real 2401, yeah. meaning to some people believing Luigi was in fact in the game somewhere. And in 2020, hackers found a Luigi character model in the Mario 64 source code. It turns out Luigi was always intended to be playable in Mario 64, but because of the N64's limited hardware, Nintendo had to remove him. Sadly. But today, I'm gonna make sure L is real. This guy's yeah. got over two games with the chance of a lifetime <laughs> robbed from him, and I'm gonna bring him back. Thank you, brother. Again. You've done a good service. He was in Mario 64 for the DS, but I'm ignoring that. It's about time we had a 3D Mario game with a real two-player mode. For the longest time now, there's been this pseudo two-player, where player two gets control of something like a Luma in Mario Galaxy, or Cappy in Odyssey. Apart from 3D World, they could never play as an actual character and explore the world alongside player one. Again, oh, yeah. this keeps to the original game. In fact, this is how it was originally intended to be played. But now we get to the hard part, the gameplay. As I said earlier, mm -hmm. we could just throw Mario into some Unreal Engine world, but we could do better. Well, we can just update the 3D models in the original style. This is only half of the story. Remember how I said Mario Wonder really emphasized the expressions and high quality animations? Yeah. We're doing that. The original game was renowned <laughs> for its smooth gameplay and incredible animations for its time. So we need to do it justice and achieve the same thing, but with today's standards. <laughs> Shit. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Games oh, like yeah. Mario Wonder have set the bar high, so I'm making the character animations feel really fluid and natural, while also having a cartoony vibe. It's what the original creators would have wanted. Not only does this apply to Mario and Luigi, but it also applies to the side characters and enemies too. As for the actual world, this is where things are going to get hard. I started by retexturing the whole environment, but that wasn't enough. I wanted to push this so it would feel like Mario 64 in the year 2030, and the best way to do that was grass. And uh -oh. Why do green things hate me? Okay, you get the <laughs> idea. The original Mario 64, and even the DS remake, only had flat textures due to their limited hardware. This means that things like grass and rock, well, technically 3D, still felt 2D. The oh, best yeah. example of this 
is actually the trees, which were actually oh, just Oh, those infamous trees. Nintendo would trick you into thinking that they were 3D by making the image always face you, even if you ran around them. So making actual 3D trees, along with grass and rock, really adds to this remake. But what's one thing that every modern game has that Mario 64 doesn't? It's time to really shake things up and bring it into the 21st century. It's time to add online mode. This is uh -oh. especially doable now, given that the game has local co-op. We can just do the same thing, but online. Done. Nope, I'm taking it further, and I'm taking inspiration <laughs> from one of my favorite childhood games, New Super Mario Bros. DS. You see, Mario vs. Luigi and Mario 64? But you didn't just play levels with your friends. It had its own dedicated multiplayer minigame. Ah, oh, the minigame. One named Mario vs. Luigi. Oh, see, I was right, I was you right. You <laughs> against your friend to collect the most shines, either by simply collecting them, or attacking your opponent and stealing it from them. This would be an awesome way to play in a 3D space. Each map would be a Mario 64 world, and you would complete it with a time limit. So there we have it, a complete remake of Mario 64, with a few extra bonuses. But what would this game be called? Mario 65. I don't know, Mario 64 <laughs> HD or something. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more. YouTube <laughs> thinks that you'll like this video the most, so you should probably go watch that. Nintendo. Whoa. <laughs> All right, that, that was a good video, man. Uh, as far as what would the game be called? I have no idea, honestly. I really don't have an idea of what that could be, what it could be called. It's, like, I'm being honest here, I really don't have an idea of what it could be called. But all I all I know is this was a great concept. I like the idea of online mode. I really hope that if we do get one, like a Mario 64 remake, Luigi is playable. I really hope L is real this time. Although it might not happen, to be fair with you guys. I mean, we all know how uh, Mario All Star, or Mario Mario 3D All Stars turned out. They just they didn't didn't do anything. The game is still in four by three. Like I don't know. Maybe one of these days I have to make like my own uh, Mario 3D All Stars. Like, let me know if that's a video you guys want to see. Me making my own Mario 3D All Stars. Mario 65. <laughs> Super Mario 65, man. I, that's a stupid title, man. But regardless, the remake idea is very good. Endo, you did a really good job. I'll have the link to the OG video in the description. But with that being said, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.